<laughs> hey, it's Monday. This is how we start the show on Mondays. Right. It's we got a case. Catch up the, Monday. We have a case it's of the catch Mondays. Up catch up. <laughs> how do y'all say it? Katsu. 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 Oh, I did not mean to say that out loud. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's not. Nothing. It's moving on. <laughs> That's live. Oh, no well, one's gonna know what it was. I don't even get it. So there's that. Yeah. It's. I'll right. tell you. I'll tell you after show. <laughs> Okay, it, <laughs> that's save that for the blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs> How many of those do we have going already with all of our bloopers? We'll have to add it to the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Join us okay. for the Monday catch up. I haven't even shared the stream yet. I I'm can't even so... find it. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing all the good today. This Can Monday is really biting. How well we are doing and how well we are starting today. How well we are starting today. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a, are you jumpy today? My kid scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I thought I heard something going, and I was all like, huh? What? Did I scare you? Yes, you did. Good night, baby. Love you. Oh, did I punch you? <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Way <laughs> to take care of your time. Say good night to everyone. And we're live. Good oh, night, good night everyone. You look like a metal man. Yeah, you do look like a metal man. <laughs> <laughs> good night, baby. Love you. <laughs> okay. I still need to finish. Oh, guys. So many things going on right now. Mr. No kidding. Mr. Pineapples, you are like the light. You're like disappearing into your background. You're like Thanos. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. You're like you're like fading away. Like that. Have we, we did the snap. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is. I hey, cannot. Y'all. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us today on the Monday catch up. As you can tell, we've uh, we're having a couple of difficulties, but you got to keep going. You got to keep we're going. We're having fun, is what we're yeah. Doing. Having fun. You got to show up on time, and if you show up on time, then it's all downhill from there. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and if you're what is it? If you're on time, Eric said something like, "If you're on time, you're late." Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people say that. So Wait, like whenever we used that to means it, nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever we were scheduled at Caboose, if you were scheduled at five o'clock, you, you were supposed up. to be there at four forty-five. Because that's when you're that's the actual time. Even though you were scheduled for your shift at five o'clock. That's being because if you showed up at five o'clock, you were late. That's really? True. Do I remember that? And I would write and I'd have pink slip day where I'd What's write up, people Eric? up. <laughs> I don't think I ever got a pink slip. Did I ever You know what was so narcissistic about the Joe doing that was that like <laughs> he would wait there at the door with a pink with a little pad and it'd be like, Come yep. on, really? Yeah, okay. because then I no, so here's the deal though. It, all you had to do was call and say you were running late. I, I didn't give it to people that called and said, Hey, I'm running late. I gave it to people that just did not show up. At 4.45. Then if you don't tell me that you're going to be there, then I'm assuming you're late and you, I had the pink slip for you. I'd ask around, did you call in? And they'd be like, nope. All right. <laughs> pink Joe, slip. Do you ever remember giving me a pink slip? I don't remember ever receiving no. Oh, my I gosh. So. I remember, like, lots. Yours? I, no, for you. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> you fibber. But it's believable. That's the thing. I know. It made me question myself. Honestly. You're like, wait, no. Like, I, I gave I, out a lot of pink slips, but I don't recall ever giving. I don't think I gave either of you two pink slips. I don't think so. Oh, I got pink slips. I got not for me though. That was no. from your principal. <laughs> <laughs> trying to blame Joe for that. That's business. probably true, <laughs> actually. <laughs> well, looks like we are getting started with the Monday catch up. So, what we'd like to do first, though, is we want to recognize our business of the day. You better and I recognize. Miss Sandy is going to do this one today. Yes. Yeah, so, um, my sweet friend, um, Melanie Tatum, helps with minis and friends, uh, South Plains. They're a 501c3. Um, here in town and they do um, they have miniature horses and so what they do is they um, the organization takes them around to uh, children with disabilities at-risk youth 
and individuals in transition and elder adults to improve their motor skills and their ability to connect tact uh, tactile response and use of senses and enlighten their spirits um, through the interaction with miniature horses. So they take around these minis and th they have some pictures. If you go to their website, it's uh, Minis and Friends South Plains. And um, they went to, recently went to nursing homes. And so because of all of the guidelines and everything, so they're just showing them through the windows. And one of the pictures, uh, one of the residents was like, I combed my hair so I wouldn't scare the, the pony. <laughs> but anyways, it was really sweet. So, um, and right now they're having to move their minis. And so they're looking for donations. So if you can, please go and donate $5, a dollar, whatever you can to Minis and Friends South Plains. And um, that way they can get new fence and stuff built up um, for them. Yeah. So anyway, um, Melanie Tatum, if you're watching, um, please y'all go help her out with these minis. And they do awesome. They do um, pictures with Santa, of course, during Christmas. And they do um, just different events that they like to show up for. And that's how they do their fundraising to keep their um, their organization going. Wow. I just visited the website. And those are like very hairy horses. I mean, they, they're probably, you know what? They're probably as tall as um, Piper. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, they look like very large dogs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Piper's a mini, uh, miniature horse, I think. That is um, I showed them to my daughters last night. Oh, and, did you? Yeah, and Eva, I'm sorry, Eden, my youngest, she went nuts over them and she was like, oh my gosh, daddy, they're so cute. Look, mommy, look. They are so cute. So we usually try to go out and support whatever events it is that she's doing just to at least go see them and stuff. But yeah, they do pictures and all this other fun stuff. But yeah, if y'all can go visit and share, if you can't donate, just share their web, their, uh, their GoFundMe um, that they're doing. Oh, okay. That is very cool. Minis and Friends South Plains. So um they have a donate about us and a volunteer. So they're looking for volunteers as well to kind of help with their events. Uh, Jamie, too bad your girls don't, aren't closer. They could go volunteer. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> They'd yeah, be volunteering. Okay. <laughs> Eden would be like, when daddy tonight? <laughs> yeah. She does like, that kind of stuff. You're like, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, like, so is that a no? Or <laughs> maybe? Is that a, do we have night lights? <laughs> She's like, I. That doesn't affect me. <laughs> yeah. She rationalizes it like that, too. She she would do that. She would rationalize it. She's like, hey, what's it? So how did y'all's weekend go? I, had... prefer, I got plenty to tell y'all. <laughs> so, oh, really actually... <laughs> so let's just tar stop and tar talk about what we just did. We had homework over the weekend. We did. But let's just talk about what happened over the weekend. Anything uh, for you? Mr. Pineapples, I know you said that you worked out. You ran, you did two oh runs. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. So I continued the running that I was inspired by you, Sandy and and uh, Paul, uh, from last week's episode, Wednesday episode on the running, the runners episode. And um, I took I dragged the girls out with me, and it was incredibly windy on Saturday, but we did the runs, did two during the day, or one, you know, one in the one at lunchtime, one closer to dinner time, and then after our Friday show, no, that Saturday I ended up watching the Bob Larkin or whatever Lizard. his name was, <laughs> huh? Bob Lizard. Lizard. him too, and uh, I watched I watched that and uh, was doing some running downstairs again, but uh, Sunday morning when I woke up for church, virtual church, and I tried to go up the stairs, I was like, oh my gosh, my legs were in pain. And that's part of the reason why I was late for show for a pre-show today was because I was like, it's taking a lot longer to get around the house and everywhere. <laughs> and I, I'm in the basement. And so I was like, oh, gosh, OK. And I started going down steps and I was like, the girls Eden comes running. She's like, dad, 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 is, are you OK? What's going on? I was like, calm down. I'm just walking just a little bit slower. <laughs> Just a little, slower. and it was painful. So that was that that was uh, my activity for this weekend, and it hurt like crazy, and it's still hurting right now. And I'm just like, oh, does it go away? Does it go away? Yes, it does go away, and it's just muscles that you haven't used in a while. Oh, so which that is was, I'm so proud of yeah. you. That. Thank you. No, I, I, I have to disagree with that, Sandy. He uses those muscles every day. He walks to work. He walks around the house. He he uses them every day. He just doesn't use them. 
all the time, continuously in a fast motion. Yeah. He doesn't do knees to chest. <laughs> That's where the burn's feeling at. That's too, so. the burn. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we did that. I ordered. Um, so I've been trying to do like order out on Fridays, pick up some food or bring or get it delivered over here just to mm -hmm. change up. And so we, we got some pizza from a local town, from a local uh, business. Did good there. And then um, we did it again on Sunday. I don't know that I had anything else major going on. I really tried several times. So there's a video game that came out recently that I've been waiting literally for like over 20 years for. 20 years. Right? What? Yes. Mm -hmm. I last played this game back in 1997, 98. Yep. And it's called Final Fantasy VII Remake. Never. And so for, that's fine. <laughs> for people who game, they have been waiting for this game for a couple of decades, Sandy. So, yeah. wow. and we've had movies that have come out um, that have gone after the video game. We've had um, side stories, video games, other games that are attached to other characters. So, you know, it's kind of like the Marvel Cinematic Universe kind of thing going on. But to actually take the original game and remade, because the original game was a game changer in the video game world. And so I sat down to play that game like half a dozen times this weekend. And every time I did, someone needed something or I needed to do something. And I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding dad, me? Dad duties. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's usually the way it goes when you've like been anticipating something and you finally have a second and then someone needs something. Yeah. 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 I did have a good time uh, Friday night the, or maybe Saturday. Anyway, sometime this weekend, I don't know if any of y'all got to watch that <laughs> Disney ice or Disney sing along. Um, there was a Disney sing-along that was being broadcast and they were just going to different people's homes, stars or whatever. And they were singing songs, all, all sorts of Disney songs. That was pretty spectacular. And oh, the, really? the family, Yeah. And so we were on the tablet in the kitchen. We were all watching it and that was cool doing. Um, then there was that one world health thing for the nurses and first responders and all that, that was going on Saturday. That was fun too. Watching a bunch of uh, music stars play or seeing from their homes and things like that. Cool. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. So um, he, he didn't do much, but he did way more than I did. <laughs> <laughs> How many well, naps we get in, Joe? <laughs> well, you know, let, we don't have to go into that. You know, it's the weekend, so, uh, you know, uh, the nap count should be off is what I feel like uh, on the weekends mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So how I was your weekend, Sandy? Three oh. a day. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, Jamie. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say I, I also did my homework for my part of the homework for this week for today's oh. episode. Got mm -hmm. to watch or look for some of you guys' comments from last week. I did that too, oh. so well, that'll Man. come up later. But uh, yeah, <laughs> Sandy, what did you do? Okay, so y'all ready for this? Yep, well, she's got a lot. So I do have. <laughs> bring it out. Bring it on. <laughs> so Friday after we signed off, you know, usually Piper and cash if they're being quiet they're usually in here but um those are her dogs not quiet <laughs> they were outside <laughs> and so piper is my new feet and we just adopted her in Your what um, what is that she's a newfoundland her breed oh okay. her newfoundland. Breed. she's yeah. a newfoundland oh. so they look like saint bernard's they're huge yeah they're huge oh, and so like we just adopted bernard's. her in january and okay. um Cash, Johnny Cash is my uh, golden doodle, and we just got him in February. You so have a anyway, golden doodle. How those are said. Those are said not to like shed or something like that, right? Like they don't shed a lot. Allergenic, yes. Oh, okay, okay, but cool. Johnny Cash sheds, and maybe it's just puppy fur, but who knows? Oh, uh, okay. Fur, <laughs> we don't fur doesn't bother us. Red used to shed like crazy, but okay. anyway. So we. Uh, Kay came in here and he's like, mom, Piper is crying. And I'm like, what? Aww. And so he brings, she comes in here and she's just so uncomfortable. Anyway, <laughs> so we get her to the vet Saturday morning. So she has to stay at the vet overnight. And thankfully, you know, it could have been worse. She's just constipated. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> For her, <laughs> But anyway, she's okay. constipated. So, which that's good. Oh, poor but baby. anyway, that's why she was crying because it hurt to poop. Yeah, it hurt. Aww. Poop. Now she was so uncomfortable. It was awful. She was just pacing. And when she would sit, she's like, oh, can't. And then she just, you know, it was awful. So, anyway, luckily, constipation, we're moving on from that. Okay. So, um, uh, Sunday, 
I was, oh, uh, no, Saturday, I was sitting there contemplating life. And have y'all ever I'm constipating life? Yeah. Have y'all <laughs> ever told, or when your spouses say, I've been thinking. Uh -oh. and so that was my topic with Eric. I can, I can just feel his butt cheeks clenching anytime that I say, I've been thinking. <laughs> so so anyway, anyway, he said, I was like, babe, I think I want to start a new hobby. And I, I can just see dollar signs just going through his <laughs> like, How much is this going to cost me? And I thought, okay. So I want to take up welding. A and, welding. And woodworking. And Ooh, he okay. looked at me like, are you kidding oh. me? And so I I know nothing about welding. I just know that my dad used to weld in the backyard. And so he's like, okay, well, let's watch some YouTube videos. And so I started watching some videos and this guy's talking about electrical charges and currents and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to weld. That's just too much. <laughs> You're like, never mind. <laughs> never <laughs> mind. We'll pass it on. <laughs> and then, so anyway, then I was like, okay, I've been wanting to either buy him a table or us build him a table for, uh, for when we grill. And, oh, okay. You know, right. Right. Um, like outside uh, table, yes, like an outside everything. Because when we grill, we have we have our smoker, and then we have our our flat whatever it's called a flat thingy, flat iron grill, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> the so grill. Uh, I'm a regular barbecue grill. Say that again. I was saying, the what do you cook on it? Oh well, like well, I like to roast veggies, and then okay. we do shrimp. What else do we cook on it? Food. Yeah, no. that that's the regular barbecue grill, and then she has a smoker. Yes. So anyway, <laughs> so, um, I want to ha have him a table because we just kind of pile stuff on there. And so anyway, I thought for our first woodworking project, <laughs> so anyway, he's just kind of like, okay, well, let me add all this stuff in the cart and see how much it costs. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like, okay. I said, he gave me this figure and I'm like, it might just be cheaper to buy a little sucker. Let me go on a Wayfair real quick. <laughs> so we can find Anyway, so we ordered all of our stuff on Home Depot. Home okay. Depot has yet to fulfill our order. So I did get right? a carpenter business this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe next weekend we can start. And I also did my homework in between all of my uh Wow. wow. What so you're gonna build a table is your first uh yes, my first goal? project is gonna be an outdoor table. And then if that goes well, um my second project is going to be a coffee table because we need a new coffee table. Um, wow. Did I tell y'all that we did yard work and that's for the birds? Yard like, for, I yard never work help is... Eric do yard work and I may totally never help him again. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I, I think I remember you saying that on sat, uh, Saturday or Sunday. I'm sunburnt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, the wind was blowing, so you have grass in my teeth. And I'm like, what is going on here? Grass and so much for helping me. And I'm like, mm, I'm probably never going to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> but I was trying to earn all my woodworking tools. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. Uh, yeah. Brownie points. You had to get brownie points. I know. And then I've decided, I don't know if it's a character flaw. That just sounds <laughs> probably awful. not. Probably not. It just sounds awful. But yeah. I'm like, Hmm, I'm not cut out to be a good assistant. Like, I don't like being asked, hey, can you bring this? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. Can, can you I'm bring the, the rake? Yeah. It's just right there. Why don't you? Can you not do it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to work on that. That's some other things that I got to work on. <laughs> yeah. So I will tell you, like, woodworking does require being – some being an assistant for a little bit, like holding the wood together and, and drilling and all that stuff. So it, it's, it's something that you're going to have to uh, definitely work on whenever you work on that project. See, I just like to supervise. I want to be taking <laughs> pictures. I, that way we can post on Facebook. Right. I don't know Facebook. that the picture taker is a supervisor though, either. No, so maybe well, not a good and I like to say, Kay, dad needs help. <laughs> no, she's really good at delegating. She's a good, <laughs> I would say you're a good uh, influencer. Right? I yeah. Know. And and so anyway, it's just, I'm going to have to work on myself. That's <laughs> part of my homework. <laughs> That's part of your homework. <laughs> work on myself. The table's going to get built. <laughs> it's going to get built. Hey, Jay, how are you? <laughs> Jay is in the show. Thank you for stopping by. So is, is, is that all you did? Is it, is it my turn? I told y'all to go first. I already forgot what else I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Um, 
uh, did you the show? What was the show that Nick Nick had told us on Friday? Yeah. He told you about assigned me. No, he didn't. He suggested <laughs> um, <laughs> Evil Genius. There you go, Evil I Genius. Did, and I did watch it. Y'all better get ready for this because uh, it's crazy. Spoiler alerts. <laughs> I don't know how to review anything without revealing stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just just get ready. If you've seen it, really, if, if yeah. not, you, she, Sandy's gonna ruin Guys, it. Guys, look here. Like, if the yeah, this yeah, you can't. We've already said it. Spoiler. We'll actually put it in there. It says spoiler. Just alert, put right. that here while I go away for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I had a awesome weekend because I was able to try my first time doing pulled pork in my new smoker. Let me tell yeah. you. Yet we didn't get to sample. Huh. Interesting. Uh, well, you oh, know, yes. we actually took all of it, and Thanks, Sean. Uh, it's supposed to last my family the rest of the weekend. Oh. It didn't make it. Did it? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. I went ahead and ate it for today because I made it yesterday. I, I went ahead and ate it for lunch and dinner today. My family said, "Nah." Let's get McDonald's or something. Oh, <laughs> man. So was that just Wait, because so they don't do leftovers? No, or? they don't do leftovers. It drives me crazy because they both, everybody at the table went for seconds. So when you, was, the night you served it, the night that I served it, okay. everyone went for seconds. So I they all it. enjoyed it. They loved it. So it was a great, I, I was very impressed with myself. They, oh, so. We did learn a couple of things, though. Toot, so toot, while toot. I was, <laughs> we needed to. I mean, not that one. Yeah. <laughs> so my producer, I had to leave. I had to leave the house to go uh -huh. get some stuff, and I told her, "It's like, hey, sometimes the because it's a propane tank, uh -huh. uh, propane smoker. Sometimes the the flame will go out if it's too windy." So the wind was kind of going in and out. Yeah. Um, so I'm driving and I said, hey, uh, can you go ahead and check the temperature on the smoker and, and let me know what it is? So she walks out there and she's like, hey, it's 200. And I'm like, oh, that means that the pilot flame, the, the flame went out. So I need you to go ahead and reignite it. And um, <clears throat> have you taught her how? Yeah. I was no. about to so there is. So she opens up. the. So it's two. Two doors. She lit the wood on fire. The, the bottom door, she opens up and I go, Do you see a flame down there? She goes, No, I don't see a flame. I go, Okay, all you got to do is hit the ignite button on the thing. Well, so I don't know how long the fire has been out. So the propane has been building up in that little <sighs> area right there. And Shut she, up, she hits the ignite and it just fireballs her. And oh, it singes her hair. And <sighs> I'm, on, I'm on FaceTime with her. And oh I'm my like, god! Are you okay? Are you okay? It's just like, ah! <laughs> like, oh my gosh! I'm surprised so you're alive to be on the show today. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, she was not happy with me <laughs> about that. She's she goes, "All of you was pressing that, and I'm never gonna touch it again." <laughs> oh <laughs> man! Yikes! That so is like, horrible. And I'm like, "What did you do? What did you do?" She goes, "I just <laughs> hit the button like you told me to." <laughs> <laughs> As so, you're trying to console your wife, you're also no, blaming yeah, her at the same uh, time. Uh, and I'm not trying to blame her. It's just, it just comes out I'm that just, way. I'm just trying to figure out what she did differently. Yeah. And so I walk, I walk in, I check on her. So I pull into the driveway. I was like, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't worry about it anymore. <laughs> so I go and I check on her and she's very upset because she caught on fire. She's lost some hair, singed some pieces of hair and stuff like that. And I'm like, what did you do? And are you okay? It, all you know, consoling and blaming all at the same time. Consoling I'm really consoling and blaming. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, so I go out and th the fire did not reignite, obviously, because it fireballed. And I'm like, okay, so I'm just gonna close the lid and then I pop it and it blows up it again and it burns the hair because I'm wearing shorts, it burns the hair on my legs. And I'm like, what? Of course, I didn't realize at the point in time what had happened until I was there and saw it for myself. That, you know, the gas had been going, there's no flame, it, the fumes are building up within the smoker, and then it, it it's going to, as soon as you hit the igniter, it's going to fireball out. <laughs> oh my gosh, Joe. Oh, so yeah, we almost had to call the fire department and the ambulance and all that. <laughs> so. And for all you viewers out there, that's how you not work 
with a smoker, okay? I, I tell you, I learn things really, really the hard way. Yeah, I was going to say, you learn them the hard way. I learned them the hard way. So because the fire kept going out, it was supposed to be an eight-hour pork butt or pork shoulder. Uh -huh. uh, and it ends up being nine and a half hours because the fire kept going out. Luckily, I got – so Carrie just posted – I have a thermometer that I can stick in there that has a, a lead a, a wire out to a, a thermometer, so I know exactly when it's on there. So, but I'm not cool like that. I don't have it on my phone yet. I didn't get the app one, the one that has a Bluetooth connection. So. Oh, El Cheapo. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everyone's like, "So, did you get this one?" And I'm like, "No." Sandy, so Father's Day's coming up, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then there was something else I did. Um, Cookies, right? You cut your own hair. He oh, did, or was that the pilot light? I can't see. No, it was not. Look, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do something. Hold on. Yeah, it's look. It's oh wow, you <laughs> you did okay. That's yeah. real. I'm pretty sure that all the hairstylists said, "Please wait till we come back." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so that was something else. Bolana's boyfriend cut it for me, so I was like, "Just do this on here, and then we'll go with this." And I was like, "Yeah, it's gonna be short. We'll just leave it like that." <laughs> it doesn't look bad. Oh, okay. Thank you. You yeah. know what the difference the is front? between a good haircut and a bad haircut? What? Three days. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're all right. Go back. <laughs> I am going to keep my hat on, though, because I think it's actually part of the <laughs> so, so, you know, that that's kind of what I did this week. Wow. Weekend. Yeah. So When did you do that? La, last night at 1030 at night. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he was over at the house watching um, movies and stuff. And he had, he had asked me, he goes, hey, do you want me to cut your hair? And I'm like. Like, what are you trying to say? Yeah, I know, right? So that's what I say, too. It's like, Come yeah, on, actually, bro. we had talked about it. It's like, hey, if I'm going to shave my head. And I and I go, do you want me to shave yours? And he's like, yeah. And then Bolana's like, mm -hmm. no. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She said no. So I got my haircut. He didn't get his haircut. Oh, uh, sorry, Bolana's boyfriend. Out, isn't it? Do what? He keeps his hair pretty long, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. He? His goes down to here. Like, it's, like, curling around his face and stuff like that. I was going to shave it for him. And she uh, was like, mm. that have been I... That have been good show content, Joe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Sandy, that's a great idea. That would have been wonderful. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Think about the show next time, Joe. I, I Think about the show, apologize. Joe. I Think about the show. Apologize. So... That was a that was a good catch up there. Oh, we forgot. We need to mention one of our one of our guests, right? Isn't there someone that we are one of one of our viewers that we really wanted to showcase today and tell her thanks? Do you remember that? I do, but don't yet. Um, <laughs> oh, are we can do our homework. Let's do our homework. Yes. All right. Let's yes, do our yes. homework. <laughs> I'm so confused. Please stop confusing me. All right. That thing that, thing that we left so, Sandy out. This is, what, this is what happens when we don't do a pre-show. When, when one of us doesn't show up to the pre-show. <laughs> pre-show, right? Just letting y'all know that. We run. This is us not being able to plan out like we normally do the 10 minutes. And we don't even plan out then. That's just 10 minutes of goofing off we get to do before the show. Yeah, I was going to say kinda, planning. Right. Yeah, so <laughs> I think it's planning. I think I realized more that it's just them goof us goofing off. Sorry. Oh, I like how he put that on. Them. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just throw us under the bus? Well, like Joe said, we're gonna do. We want to highlight some. Uh, we wanted to highlight some of you guys' comments from last week, and so we didn't put a lot of uh, what boundaries, I guess, into kind of how to do this. We just well, said we have boundaries, but we um, stepped. And trampled all over those boundaries. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> that's, that's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened. And so we each decided, we're like, well, let's just go out and curate some of the uh, comments from the show last week. And uh, we'll come back together again. And we'll share it here. And you guys can see what we got. So, so um, you should share your screen. Share my screen? So I yeah. thought. Because y'all um, did screenshots. I, mine were boring. And I just copied and pasted. Y'all did the screenshots. So we should do those. We should do the screenshot ones. We should do the screenshots. Yeah, y'all should do this. Look at Jamie. He's like, who called an audible? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why is he doing the audible? Like, that? <laughs> it's like, I'm going to throw a little curveball. A little. So just let me know whenever you're ready, Jamie. Oh, I'm <laughs> trying to. I'm trying to hit the space bar or the enter key real quick so I can move them all to their own page. And okay. While you're doing that, we have something else. 
Okay, go for it. <sighs> <laughs> Did you know that, Sandy? I'm like nervous. Like, what are you talking about? You know, can you hear it? I can, I, hear I can totally hear it. Okay, but good. I feel like y'all are wanting me to do something, and I have no. No, no, he's just no. showing off. I'm just showing the I'm new sorry. soundboard that we there have. There you go. He's <laughs> and so while Jamie was trying to figure out the technical part, I, I, just, oh. I did. So this was I did give him a curveball. I don't think they were expecting to throw up the, the screenshots of him, but I felt that they would be more impactful if you did it that way, as opposed. Oh, to I agree. I'm not. I'm not a booty hurt about it. I think it's a great idea. So he's not booty hurt about it. So, but you know what? I was planning to do this if I had shown up to the pre-show on time. Right. If I had done that, we would have been real good. So these aren't in any particular order, but um, I will start with. Are you starting with mine? No, 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 no. no. I'm gonna let. You... Oh shoot! Y'all keep talking. Fill the space. Up. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. Moments later. <laughs> One of these days. Oh, you know oh. what? Sandy's is hard because hers is one picture of them all. No, it's not. Mine are all individuals. Oh, she put it on the document. Yeah. But if you, let's see. You can click on the document and then you can drag it around, I think. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. I know. Y'all need to keep such, talking. So give me some time here, guys. Joe's heart, heart feels so good. You're right. right. You're right. You're right. You told them that three times. <laughs> and now they're going to be a sound clip. Watch him change that. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I, I just finished the uh, nine minute workout today. I, I still hate it. I hate the nine minute workout. Well, let me one up you there. I finished my wine minute workout today. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason I had the wine out on a Monday is because I was trying to do a TikTok video. Because I'm still trying to do TikTok videos. <laughs> anyway, it didn't go as planned. So I ended up drinking my props. Oh. <laughs> if anybody knows how that workout went. <laughs> wow. You could you could have used water or food coloring, I guess. Right? Not really, because I don't have water or food coloring. But I do have <laughs> You don't have cranberry juice or some other yeah. type of... Oh, cranberry juice has sugar in it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Ah, man. How do you live with no sugar in your life? Well, I can have fruits. Uh, like, I can have natural sugars. Like You can honey. have agave. Ma no, no, I cannot have agave. That oh, is, you can't? No, that is too... What's the word that they use? Um, Fructosy? No. Um, darn. Help me out, assistant. Um, <laughs> my assistant has his ear pods in and can't he's not, <laughs> he's not being a good assistant right now. I, I can't even deal with him. Oh my goodness. Um, what is the word? Process. Processed. Oh, oh, pro oh. right under the buzzer. She <laughs> the buzzer went off first. No, because it's too processed. So um uh. I can have honey, molasses, and maple syrup as long as it's like the real, not the artificial. So are the molasses, kid. Yeah. Not you. The molasses. Well, I mean. Okay. Okay. I depends. think I'm good. I uh, think you think I'm we're good. ready for the homework? Oh no, but no. We can bring that. <laughs> okay, well, so here's the order it's going to go. Sandy, you're going to go first with yours. Joe, you'll go second with yours, and I'll be final. Okay. 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 All right. Oh, ready. Oh, hold on. No, one last thing. One last thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is literally the last thing, guys. Just bear with me. Yes, John Matthews processed. I needed that 30 seconds ago, John Matthews. Okay. So, yeah, so. I'm sorry, but we already did the Jeopardy <laughs> timeout, so she cannot use that answer again. But for the Daily Double. <laughs> you know, that show makes me like I'm not really sure. I've never once guessed a correct answer. On that show, have y'all? Yeah, yes, of course. Smart. <laughs> uh, you do realize that we're both nerds, right? Yeah, and most guys usually hang on to random pieces of non essential facts, right? Yeah, we can't tell you what the song was of the day that we met people, but we can tell you random facts like the what year it came third... out in, <laughs> yeah, the what third album. Yeah, the I third album. Y'all know what? I what? forgot to tell y'all. What? So 
um, Saturday, is it Saturday? My, yeah. Seriously, my days run together. I don't even know <laughs> what day, I mean. Anyway, God, Saturday you, night, Andy. Eric and I were at back in the patio. And mm -hmm. so we started a Snapchat karaoke. I know no lyrics. Snapchat um, karaoke. So Eric and I would would be karaoke and then send it to some of our friends on our Snapchat list that would that we knew would participate. And I can't sing and I can't remember lyrics, so y'all know how well that went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how so I'm still was, back uh, in the whole Snapchat karaoke. Thing. I'm like, wait, five, wait ten how minutes? did that work? So was that like five, ten minutes of your day? No, oh. like thirty or fifty. That that was like an hour or so. Of my yeah, see, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it after, sounds kind of fun, though. That's after some white claws. <laughs> there is no law with the claw. There, there is no law with the white claw. Man, that is crazy. J Jamie, are you ready yet? Um, Jamie, I can only tell you so much. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> it's going to look really weird, so just bear with us, everyone. Yeah, but, just, uh, hey, just deal with it. Yeah. Deal with it. I don't, just, I don't know why you're apologizing. He's like, hey, this is our show. We run it the hell we want. Yeah. We do what we want. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. All right. So? <laughs> okay, here we go. You can keep scrolling. All right? <laughs> All right, can y'all see that well? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so Sandy, I'm just going to go down, and then you you can highlight it and however okay, you guys want to. So none of us, we looked on our friends' lips. None of us know Yasir, but I loved his comment. I don't know where I am, but I like this. I mean, this is the story of my life. I, sometimes I have no idea where I am. But I do like it. <laughs> do you remember what yeah. episode that was on? I can't remember, but I remember when it, it showed up. I think it was the last Monday catch up, I think. Was it? I don't I remember. So. Oh, I was going to say it says three days, three days ago. Three but days ago, but I don't think it was that's... three days ago. Yeah. Okay. It was whenever we started talking about the comments. So it was three days from that. Whenever we oh, so if you could find like this on Saturday, it would have been Wednesday, right? Maybe. No, but we talked about it on Thursday. So. I think she. Oh, so yeah. she did her homework early. Yeah. Anyway, oh. it's a great I would, comment. I wouldn't say There's that. always overachievers. <laughs> Seriously, you don't. I don't think I did that early. <laughs> I think y'all reminded me. I'm like, oh, let me do that. <laughs> oh, Priscilla's here. Hey, Priscilla. Hi, Priscilla. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. All right, we're going over comments. So let's see what the okay. second one is. So my next one, Shelby. Tiger King makes me feel better about my life too. Seriously, <laughs> I as, felt that. <laughs> as much as the comments have been with Tiger King, even in our streams, I'm like, did we actually do a Tiger King episode? And I just like blocked all that out or something. Yes, Joe did a review on Tiger. I King. did a review on it. Oh, I really did block it out then. <laughs> it was a traumatic experience for me for everyone. So okay, you didn't even start it. it. I know. I know. <laughs> All right, you ready, Sandy? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, okay, okay. Anita, I don't know if you're on, but this seriously made us laugh on Friday. I was just <laughs> disconnected from Effie for no reasons. It must have been the aliens. It really was. It was the aliens <laughs> because you don't believe in them, so they were just going to have to disconnect you. Right, yeah. yeah. They were going to prove That's to right. You That's right. That's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was from the yeah. uh, Freaky Friday episode this past Freaky Friday. Friday. Carrie. Oh, Carrie, I'm going to leave it Carrie. at the bottom. We need to buy some sardine oil. Sometimes uh, Eric, I have to threaten him with that. <laughs> so give us a backdrop to that because I didn't know what she meant. I had to have Sandy explain it to me, and I was like, what? Okay. So, so if you watched Tiger King, then you know that Carol Baskin said that she <laughs> would have had to have dipped or rubbed or something, sard rubbed sardine oil on her husband to get the tiger to eat him. Okay, that's what it so was. That's why mm -hmm. Carrie Patton is now selling sardine oil in her small business. <laughs> Wait, is that for real? No. no. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, um, could she not be any guilty? Any more guilty? Pineapples, why are you worried about her selling sardine oil? I don't oil? know. I just think it's <laughs> morbidly odd or something like that. Uh, Johnson um, is wondering why Joe's no longer non exotic. Non exotic. The uh, heck. <laughs> So I changed my name. So I thought I would like try changing it for every week. So I, my friends, oh. uh, my family hates it when I do this. Like they'll ask me, you go to Chick Fil A, they'll ask you what name do you want to put it under, and I'll put, I'll say Billy Joe Jim Bob the Third. Oh, and you like, know, 
Shut no, up, you did not. <laughs> like, okay. Can I, real quick, on that, Joe? I saved this because I meant to, to show oh. you this. Okay. All right. So, show me a receipt that I can't see. No, okay. no, not that I want to show you. So <laughs> I, t- I told you I ordered from uh, uh, Bob Evans here in town on Sunday for the for the family, right? Mm-hmm. So kind of along the same line with you, Joe, with, I don't give names. I started writing stories. <laughs> okay. So for the different food that my family ordered. So my wife ordered, I got her the seafood platter. In the special notes, I put, if you slay the water beast to get these, you have our blessings, uh, mighty stranger. <laughs> and then for the, I don't remember what they all are, but because they marked it out. But the next one, uh, the special beast slain for the bit. Oh, this is the gravy, the the sausage gravy the special beast slain for the bits in this magical syrup will strengthen the eater feel accomplished in your efforts brave warrior uh ensure this mighty legend of a beast comes with a side of the sticky barbecue sauce that renders the (laughs) eater with enhanced fervor for future battles oh my enhanced fervor yeah i did (laughs) Uh, the little one in the family is pure in spirit and grants a, spe- a special blessing that protects yours from the evil fairy folk. Come in peace. Uh, and then the last one. These are for the mighty syrup with beast bits in them. Yum. Did Every- you get extra food for that extra effort? <laughs> Do what? Did you get extra food for that extra effort? No, but the drivers, whenever they come deliver to the house, because I do it on the pizzas on Friday too, every one of them always like, man, your your comments are awesome, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> they gave us such a lot. Of, you know, they oh, all remarked awesome. on it. And so, yeah. Anyway, you reminded me of that, Joe, and I, I left <laughs> it on the scanner and didn't scan it. So, thank you. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, you could have saved that for another part of a different No, because it, cool. it is stayed in the scanner and I'd have forgotten <laughs> until a year from now. <laughs> All right, All right, so these next ones are my comments, and I wasn't cool like the other two hosts um, on our show. Um, I just copied and pasted, so I, I'm not even going to post them up later like that. I'm just going to read them. You because, are? Yeah. I, I can, have, I can make I have them so they're on the screen if you want. No, nah, I'm just going to read them okay. because right. y'all are it's, – it's too much. It's too yeah, much. it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. So uh, Renee – and I don't know how to say your last name. I apologize Beckland. if I Beckland. Beckland. On Monday, catch up on April the 13th. She said at 51 minutes and 11 seconds, or oh, moan what? during the wash. I'll kick you out of my salon for moaning. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, that means you. <laughs> <laughs> you and Robert are other guests. Yeah. Renee is a hairstylist and she does not want you to moan while she's washing your hair, washing your hair. You also Just don't do said it. in a separate comment, do not stare at her. While <laughs> oh, I can't share that one now. <laughs> oh, darn it. oh, I'm sorry. Thank, I'm sorry. Thank you for ruining his homework. <laughs> sorry, Jamie. You have okay. to go. <laughs> I, right, I have like a dozen more. It's all right. Right, yeah. Oh, and then here we go. We have Carrie Patton Jackson on the running episode, April 14th at 22 minutes and two seconds. She said, that's what I need to know. How can I get fit by eating gummy bears while watching the Hallmark Channel all day? <laughs> Carrie, have you, found the, have you discovered the answer to that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let us know if you found the answer to that, because that would be awesome. So I will hashtag sub out, the Rona 15. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will sub out gummy bears with... Um, Twizzlers, Cheetos, che- and <laughs> and the Hallmark Channel with ESPN because sports. <laughs> Stop All it day. right now! Yeah. <laughs> <Joe>. <laughs> oh, sweet! <laughs> you have your own stash of Cheetos in the basement. These are for Joe. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that because yes. we like that. We're like this, Sandy. Yeah. Wait, no. We're like this. Right. <laughs> I wish you guys could see when we try to do this. It looks like it should work right, but it never does. It so. never does. Yeah. Yeah. And my last favorite comment was by from uh, was actually from Anita Villarreal. Thirty seven minutes and sixteen seconds into the Freaky Friday episode, she said, "Mexicanos only see the Yarona." <laughs> <laughs> but they I don't think that Mexican has ever seen the Yorona, so <laughs> I'm not sure why she said that. <laughs> so 
so those are my favorites. I think I that's love... a funny one, actually. I must have missed that Yeah, one. and see, this is what y'all did. Y'all went all the way back from the beginning. I just yeah. did last week's. So, because... No, no, no. I, we went I just listened last to the instructions. Too. Did you see mine said three days ago? No. How about if that? you look at Sandy's... <laughs> I meant Shelby's comment. It was from two weeks ago. Oh. Why you are you always bringing up negative stuff, Joe? Huh? <laughs> Yeah. Probably appreciates that. I'm just pointing she does. out. She does. I'm just Sandy. pointing out. I'm just pointing out. Oh You're choking holes in our comments. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, you are. <laughs> all right. All right. So here's Amy's some... turn. Mr. Pineapples. All right. So the first one I had, I can't. I can't share. But that's. Oh, fine. and it, Sandy ruined that one. It was okay yes. though. Thank you, Sandy. That was. You're great. welcome. Anytime. Great. Waiting for us to build it up for you to knock it right down. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, how I roll, kids. <laughs> yeah. So thanks, Renee. That I thought that was funny. I thought that was funny. <laughs> Here's Carrie's right here. Man, Carrie she is says, a commenting pro. Oh my! I, I can't goodness. remember the episode she said this on, but she says the no. old days. You know, February. <laughs> <laughs> so no, she you know said that. No, Paul. she. Paul said that from the running show. And she was, thought that was hilarious. Oh, okay. So she's <laughs> quoting someone else. Yeah. I like it when you said it better, Carrie. Yeah. Paul, no offense, but I'm sure you said it pretty good too. <laughs> yeah. He didn't laugh as much. <laughs> <laughs> here's uh, here's the other one I had from Carrie Dang. again. Carrie again. This was we went we did the magic card episode, which is about a magic card game. But she said, "Y'all, I thought a rabbit was coming out of a hat, not this value." <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, listen. And, I, yeah. I thought the same thing. We did a little pre show, and I'm like, wait a second. This is it real magic? Real magic? Like, I was thinking David Blaine, Copperfield. <laughs> <laughs> Not even kidding. Uh, no, nope. but but in in, in uh, that episode, the funny, the it, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but anyway, when she's talking about the value on that episode, the cards that he was telling us, the prices were astronomical. And so we were just like, what? Yeah, like one similar to his, just in case y'all didn't see it, was like 45000 on eBay, but that one was signed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 45000 for one stinking card. but and we don't know who it was signed by. Oh, yeah, yeah. We didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it was we didn't probably me. He said it was probably going to be either the creator of the game or the, the painter or something like that, right? The, yeah, guy the actual who, artist. Yeah. The artist. So, yeah. Uh, oh, my God. I. Wait, oh, wow. I did. I did, and so then my top one it goes to someone who comes and listens to. I've noticed her comments, guys, a few times, and it's so encouraging because she'll be like, "Oh, I'm just coming in for workout, and I'm going to listen to y'all," and that encourages me when people wow. are like, "They're doing their own thing," and there they are, like, <laughs> "Oh, I want to make sure to listen uh, to the to the team um, on the social and distancing show." And so I looked at her comment, and I was like, "This is my top comment." How do y'all enjoy talking to each other? I love y'all's friendship. And so I chose it not because I thought it was funny, but because I thought, man, that was a really great compliment for us, Joe yes, and Sam. I agree. I, agree. And, I think so too. And I just it made me think, wow. So the chemistry that we have together on the show, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take them off. But the chemistry that we have together on the show, people can feel that and um it keeps them coming back. And so well, I thought, you, man. Bella. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Priscilla. That is awesome, Priscilla. Thank you so much. I didn't heart it, but I will. <laughs> I'm, I'm really bad about that, but I really do. Wait, but you hearted the comments, I, I, I thought. It. Like, I hearted it. There you go. <laughs> I heart comments, I try to laugh. Yeah, I, I'm telling you that really, I when I see stuff, I, I miss a lot of things, and I apologize that I didn't get to heart your comment on that. But if I did, great. If I didn't, I, I will make sure that it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Priscilla, put another comment up now, and he'll go in and yeah, he'll heart it right yeah, now. Okay, I will heart that. She mother. actually has two comments up <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's here. Yep. So she's here. So those are our comments from last. Yeah. From the past. So need to keep commenting, and then we'll bring your comment onto the show and tell you how awesome it was. I think we'll get fancier in the future and how we show your comments too. So Joe's just not reading it, and you don't get to see it and believe it. <laughs> oh, I'm probably just going to cut and paste still. <laughs> <laughs> well, the rest of us will continue to screenshot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll make it look pretty for y'all, okay? Because that's yeah, what you deserve. You know, but if you're listening to this, you can't really see it. So that's what I'm saying, you know. Uh, that That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, like, 
you know, in the future type stuff. I'm yeah. excuses, but okay. <laughs> I'm with Sandy on this one. I'm with Sandy. <laughs> I see the mouth moving, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what was our our homework? The other part of our homework. So, we had our homework, homework was to watch. Um, I watched a suggestion by one of our, our listeners. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I need to put this in the comments. Spoiler alert. Oh, yes. <laughs> so oh, good point. Good idea. Good Nick idea. suggested that I watch um, Evil Genius. And y'all, if y'all know, I watch the crap out of crime shows. And they are disturbing. You know, you see some stuff on here. And whenever he said, uh, Nick said, this gave me nightmares, I thought, okay, I'm going to watch it. Challenge is <laughs> Like, it intrigued me. That was your first mistake, more. huh? It intrigued me even more <laughs> oh, when he gosh. said that. So, Evil Genius is on Netflix. I want to say it's four episodes. And to tell you how good it is, or not good, oh. how interesting <laughs> it is, Eric watched it. And Eric hardly ever watches any of this stuff with me. And so, anyway, so this Evil Genius one woman she's got like five degrees i mean she is crazy smart she's also bipolar and she's got several different conditions are so we talking about tiger he, king again or something different no one of them had degrees i don't think <laughs> any of them have degrees joe <laughs> <laughs> so she um masterminds a bank heist and um manipulates all these people into helping her do this and what really bothered me was the one guy that she held hostage to do this. Okay, so this bank heist, and I'm not going to tell you all of it. You got to go watch it. But she puts a collar bomb on this guy and has him go into the bank and rob this bank. Um, so you, you look, they tell you one of his one of the qualities of this guy is that he is childlike. So when you say something like that about an adult. It makes you think, okay, so this person maybe has some developmental disabilities. So anyway, so she uses this guy to go rob this bank. And so he he's not panicking because they told him it they told him that it was, you know, like not it wasn't a real bomb. So they're what they're showing they're the TVs are there on scene. And then you actually get to see this guy, the bomb detonates around him. Shut face. up, Sandy. I'm not oh even. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm no. Like, this, this is a movie, right? This is real. This is real life. This happened in 2003. Yes. Mm, 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 and so it, that just like messed with me, especially after learning that he had a disability. How did they catch it on? How did they catch it? Like, well, they caught it because he gets so they call nine one one after he's after he's uh, uh, robbed the bank. Uh huh. And so he so they give him all of these instructions. They're like, stop here, do this. It's basically they have him go on a scavenger hunt. So he pulls into somewhere, I guess, to get his next set of rules or whatever. Did and you say next set of rules. Yes, like his next. It's a scavenger you said hunt. Neck so set of rules. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh my god. I have to bring some funniness because this is crazy. Like I'm gonna have nightmares tonight, Sandy. Don't you won't have any nightmares. I slept just fine. Yes, (laughs) it was in Pennsylvania. Yes. She remembers. But seriously, I was traumatized. That was the first time. Well, second time, because don't F with cats had a similar uh get to see it on TV. But anyway. Yes, Carrie. I, it, what was it? Pennsylvania assistant. It was. Oh <laughs> it was my Pennsylvania. God. So, I, is it your uh, recommendation that it needs to be watched? Yes, I recommend you watch it if you like two, stuff like that. Only if you like stuff like that. Two ketchups up. Two Three ketchups. Up. I give it five out of five ketchups. Five out of five ketchups. Wow. I give it five water burger ketchups. Oh I, snap! Stop it, man. That is like. <laughs> Way that, that is, is like good. That is good. Okay. And where can people watch this? Netflix. Okay. Netflix. Mm-hmm. Awesome. No, I need to know where I need to stay away from. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay, so can can I go next then? Yeah, go next. Okay. And don't point at me like that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was interesting because um Sandy, when I was looking, my homework was to watch the remind me of the guy's name, Bob E. Bob Lazar. Lazar. 
Lazar. Bob Lazar, Bob Lazar, Area 51, and Flying Saucers. I ate the show up. I was like, this is some interesting stuff. This was spicy ketchup to me. So <laughs> this was like, what? This guy worked on, on Area 51, but in a very specific location at Area 51. He was recruited right out of MIT. And um, then he decides at a young age, hey, I need to... Um, I need to tell people about what's going on over here. So he actually comes on as Dennis. That's that's when they have the fuzzy faces and all that stuff back in the day. He comes on and he's like, "There's actual alien stuff that we're working on. There's like eight or nine UFOs we're working on. One that were that some of several of them were, and it's out of this world stuff. So this is back in 1985, I think it was. Um, mm-hmm. And he's talking about how there's just all this technology that exists and he needs to share it because this shouldn't stay secret and all this stuff. It, it, it fast forward some years now, like I think the documentary takes place last year. Um, and he talks about, he stole some secret element from this place, an element on the periodic table 115, which we haven't created yet. And we don't know how, um, but it went missing off of area 51. The guy, it's amazing because the, the scary parts to me where, uh, when people tried to verify who he was, they couldn't verify who he was because they checked the schools that he graduated from, the colleges. The, uh, these were prestigious schools, you know, and everyone said they had no recollection of him. Everyone said there was no record of him existing at these places or getting degrees. And he was like, why do I have a degree then? Why do I know jet propulsion? Why do I know all this stuff? And then they were like, they started researching people that would have known him. They found articles with his name attached to these schools and to these different programs that he was a part of. It was legit. Like people were just like, we don't know who you're talking about. And so there's one part, Sandy, that you told me about was really creepy too. When he's like, he and the, the, the producer or the director, the, the host of the show, whatever you want to say, all that he, they're both talking in this field. And he mentions something about that element 115. He goes, actually, can we go ahead and just turn off our phones and everything for this part? So they shut down their phones. They put them somewhere away in the field and they kind of have a discussion about it. The very next day he gets raided by the FBI <laughs> and they're like, what? And he was like, he was like, this isn't a, this isn't by accident. He goes, they heard our conversation and they're looking for it. And right. it was, it was wild. But anyway, he makes those claims. You watch it by the end. You're kind of wondering what's going on, but um, to me, What's the it name was, of it again? that one was Bob. It's Bob Lazar. Name. Yeah, I think just Bob, Bob Lazar. Lazar and Bob Lazar, Area Fifty One, and Flying Saucers. That's what it had. But the weird part for it was when I when I was looking for it, Sandy, and in the row, you know how Netflix. This is on Netflix too, Joe. But on the row, Area Fifty One and Flying Saucers. It's all one. Oh. Oh, but okay. in the well, in the row of all the movies that showed up, I was like, this is crazy now. It had not not only did it have Bob Lazar, it had Tiger King, it had Don't F with Cats <laughs> and Evil Genius. And I was like, what in the world? Did is you this? Walk into my use to my <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was wondering. I was like, what in the world happened here? So I thought I was like, these are all the all the movies that you watch. I was like, what? So anyway, that was <laughs> that's okay. that was weird. That was weird. That was weird. That's going on a future Freaky Friday episode, guys. Well, so mine's kind of with yours because I watched the Joe Rogan uh, experience interview with Bob Lazar. It, oh. it was like two and a half hours long. I got to uh, hour and 45 minutes. minutes. You didn't finish. <laughs> I didn't finish. I, I get an incomplete on my homework because it was just going on and on. And I was just like, man, this guy just had some weird stuff. And if, okay, so. While he's talking to him, Joe Rogan's asking him, "Was like, so can you tell me about the other spaceships? He's like, no. He's like, so there was one time that they actually opened up all of the, the hangars and he could see down the row and there were like nine different spacecrafts. And so he and Joe Rogan's like, well, are they all the same shape and size? And he's like, no, they're all different sizes. And Bob Lazar's specific job, what he was supposed to work on, they were trying to figure out the propulsion method for this particular spacecraft. Mm -hmm. And what he had was a device that basically did anti-gravity. And the wave generator. Yeah. He was like, we just didn't know how it worked. And he goes, and the other thing is like, I was brought in because the guy that was before me, something bad happened to him. 
And he's like, we don't know exactly what it was, but he we th- he goes he goes. I think he died because he was trying to do something that was a little non scientific. <laughs> yeah, no, it was crazy. Like, not even kidding. Yeah. yeah, he goes. He goes. I think they used some type of cutter or something to try to open it up because they were trying to open it up to see what was going on. But he goes, it was just. Just the things that that box was doing were what, according to the science that he knows and what is documented. Physics and everything. Yeah, it was not supposed to do that. And so it was pretty cool. The most memorable part where I remember was that he was actually inside the spacecraft one time. And he is like 5'10", 5'11", or something like that. Um, But the spacecraft was more designed for someone about three foot tall. Because he's really? like, oh, I thought you were gonna say it was bigger on the inside. No, no, it was not. <laughs> he said there was like some fans here who'll get that. Yeah, it was probably like he goes. Um, Joe Rogan asked him, "It's like, what did you see inside?" He goes, "There's nothing." He's like, "There's nothing in there except for a chair. There's a chair, and then there's no windows. There's no buttons. There's no uh, there's no rivets of any sort or anything like that. There, everything is kind of there's nothing with right angles anywhere." And he goes, so we don't know how it happened. Um, but he did say the reason that he got in trouble uh, is because he was bringing friends down because yeah. they were able to fly the the spacecraft at certain times. And he had the schedule. And so they would go, they would, he goes, we were stupid. We camped out the, the time that we got caught. We probably brought, we brought a camper out there. We were watching the thing going flying around and stuff like that. <laughs> and so that's when it all went downhill. Was He's whenever a good he friend. Said, yeah, whenever that did they happened. did they by happen talk about um, the brothel he was trying to uh, no, start in they, the if they did, I didn't get to it. Oh, yeah, he started. <laughs> yeah. You don't remember that, Sandy? I must have fallen asleep. <laughs> he was uh, he was trying to start a brothel in the neighborhood. He was helping someone uh, start it, and so uh, when they oh, were wow. trying, yeah, they were like his his lawyer was like, "Is this true that you're doing this?" And he was like, "Yeah." So <laughs> and he was like, that needs to stop right now. You're being federally investigated <laughs> for crimes that are related to treason. Please stop doing that. It's <laughs> like, he's like, no, no. He lived well, in so uh, we, Vegas. we did our homework. So, you know, yes. you guys are able to do with it what you want there. Uh, we do have a final thought from one of our favorite commenters. <gasps> Harry, <laughs> that is going to bring that homework. up. But oh, we will make that. We will make that it this was, week's homework. It was my homework, but I, I'll, I'll work on it. I love spam. I just I didn't get to it. No one you else should, in my you're family smoke that, it, aren't you? You're gonna smoke that spam. Oh, <gasps> smoke spam. Yes. Man, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. You're smoke spam for twenty. Yeah. Four twenty. Four twenty. Twenty twenty. Awesome. Well, tomorrow's show. Um, I'm fe- we're featuring uh, one of my friends. Uh, her name is Maddie Bryan, and she is a triple threat. She is an actor, a dancer, a singer, and she has got a super bubbly um, personality. So I think you guys will really enjoy what she has to say, just to kind of give you an idea of, of what she's been doing and stuff like that. So hopefully you get to join us for that. And <laughs> like she did. <laughs> Four twenty spam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. That would have been cool if I would have thought about that. I did post something about four twenty on my Facebook, but um, I did yeah, not. Yeah, it'd be a lot cooler if you just smoke spam, though. It would have been a lot cooler if I smoked spam, or if we would have had a call with it, or if we would have brought Snoop Dogg on the show. <laughs> really, I mean, or Willie, or right. Willie. If anyone knows Snoop Dogg or Willie Nelson, please get them in touch with <laughs> oh. us. Tell them our people will oh, contact right. yeah, their yeah. people. <laughs> and we'll get them on the show. <laughs> but we need us. We need to get this show off the road. It's one minute. We're three minutes over. Three minutes over. Thank okay, you. kids. All right, everyone. Y'all all have a great night, okay? And a Enjoy good night's it. sleep. It was all lots right. of fun. Remember, usual, hands. for at least 20 seconds. Yeah, filthy animals. Good night, guys. Have a great night.